I do not want to make an over complicated items. What I did is to refine, improve the system to make it easier so that anybody can make can can uh, make an aquaponic set and have uh, readily vegetable and fish uh, at their disposal. And this. Good morning. This is Afnan from Afnan Aquaponics. Today I'm going to show how I put the siphon to the gutter grow bed and how I position the siphon. Uh, I'm using the mini siphon which is a 15 mm standpipe with reducer and uh, this one is actually a, a double uh, venturi siphon. I will explain why I call it a double venturi siphon. It works very well. I've been using this for quite a number of years after I've developed it and I take this opportunity to show exactly how it's made the component required these are for Malaysian because you can get it from the hardware store very easily uh, for other part of the world um, you have to source out and most probably uh, use local components whatever is available but the concept of this siphon is very simple to create a strong enough venturi so that it can operate with variable input or water without any problem so let's get on with it how I make the, the siphon Hi. what I have in front of me here is the gutter rainwater gutter that I use for making uh, my grow bed the gutter grow bed so what I did I already cut it into short Bit a length uh, required for making a uh, uh, small aquaponic set. Uh, anyway, but I don't recommend this gutter to be longer than 10 feet because the water the leveling is could be very difficult. Uh, the most I would recommend is around 10 feet long. Each of these gutters, uh, when they sell it, is around close to 4 meter. So it's around 19 and a half feet That's something around that so I cut it into four so to make four pieces of a gutter grow bed the whole idea is first is uh, once you have cut it then you have to put an end cap this is the end cap make sure the end cap is watertight this is the old one so we've got a lot of uh, webs so put the end caps on both sides then where do you uh, make the hole for the siphon it's quite simple uh, normally what I do is that I take a pot one pot it's best to drill a hole in the center of the pot uh, for as, to mark the gutter but in this situation, I did not drill a hole, but you can drill a hole, drill a very small pilot hole here uh, for you to do uh, the markings. So basically, I put the pots on the inside the gutter, then I take markers to mark. So this one, I'm just going to do it roughly. So just mark it where the center part of the siphon is going to be. So that's the best way to position uh, the siphon on gutter if you want to put it at the end of the gutter you can put it at the center or anywhere but um, best is I recommend you to line up all the pots then mark the center of the pots where you want the gutter to be so in this situation I want the gutter to be at the end of the uh, of, at the end of the uh, gutter uh, so just, just make assume that I have mark. So I'm going to show you the open end so it's easier for you to see. So let's say it's already been marked. Just have a simple one. So roughly there. So 
let's just uh, remark it. Then next thing to do is just to make a hole. I use a drill with a hole saw. This hole saw for the stand pipe that I'm using is a 22 millimeter hole saw. So I will show you the close up picture later on of the hole saw. So you can get it from any hardware shop, DIY shop. It's roughly around 10 ringgit each. Just make a hole. If you are not too confident in drilling, uh, just make a pilot hole. But uh, this is just for demonstration purpose. So not. So just. Take it easy. So normally I will hold the drill with both hands and uh, position myself better. But for this demonstration, I need to have it in different position. So be safe. So once I've made the hole, next thing is I'm going to mount the siphon. So this is the siphon that I made. Another one, a siphon. Okay, a siphon. So let's me just go through one by one the components. This is a PT socket, 15 millimeter PT socket. Then the siphon, siphon stand pipes. This is a. 30 millimeter, 32 millimeter to 15 millimeter reducer. This is a tank connector, 15 millimeter tank connector, with a bit of a 15 millimeter uh, PVC pipe already stuck in there. I do not want to just remove it because it's already stuck, jam stuck. But anyway, you need 15 millimeter pipes to uh, join it all up. So, as I mentioned, this piece you may need to cut if you want to adjust the siphon height. Then all you need to do is assemble them. Once you get it right, you just assemble them. It's best to get something which can, um, um, can have a tight fit so that you do not need to glue. This one is very loose, so it's not a good one. So, have something which is tight fit which can at least hold the siphon something like this one this one is tight fit so you can hold no problem it's quite difficult to remove so anyway that's a pretty socket then we can use this so get a tight one so that's the sand pipe and the the bell but there's the bell part the bell is uh, 82 millimeter UPVC with end cap so these are quite cheap and use as I mentioned use a circular file to file or you can have you can cut it roughly about half an inch in half an inch you use a circular file to cut it or to file it or you can use anything hex even a hex saw you can use it but roughly about half an inch to make a water channel so that's the part the bottom part just now was the first bottom part is the PT socket which you screwed it to the bottom after the grow bit then after the PT socket all you need are these things so this will interface to the PT socket this way. It will interface to the PT socket. You can have a straight, then an elbow. But to make it better, I made the saddle part here. This is the second uh, venturi. The first venturi is the top part. This is the second venturi. The second venturi, I'm using a 25 to 15 millimeter uh, reducer back to back so that it will create a second venturi. So if you look at 
it is very jam tight if you look at this part it's very similar in it it's 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 a uh, function as a standpipe so basically you will have double standpipe in this uh, situation then make the water flow much better so i've tested the system for a very long time and this is the design that i um, uh, finalize to make sure the gutter go bit uh, siphon function without any problem that's how the standpipe looks like the only thing is that you need to uh, be aware of that let's say I open up this I'm going to put it into the gutter so you mount the gutter uh, the standpipe into the gutter just put it in here then screw it from the bottom then put the reducer in that's the top part of the gutter however just make sure the height of this standpipe do not exceed the lowest part of this gutter so you can see just take a me tape measure measure this height so it's roughly slightly less than 5 inches so it's 12 millimeter around 12 millimeter so the standpipe should not be more than 12 millimeter ideally is half an inch or 10 cent 10 millimeter less than the height of the gutter so basically 12 minus 10 uh, 12 centimeter minus 1 centimeter or 10 millimeter is become 11 so the standpipe should not be more than 11 so this is uh, just nice it's 11 millimeter so you can have it uh, adjusted to 10 millimeter depend on how your water control or how leak proof is your gutter you may have to make it uh, 10 centimeter if you need to adjust this siphon what you need to do is to cut uh, this part cut this part to adjust or you can also cut this part but I do recommend you to cut the reducer part because the reducer part is the one that you can uh, remove uh, and reinstall so you can experiment with the, the length so that's how it is this is just nice and if you experience water leakage or spillover of water then you need to cut this adjust you can put glue once you have get the right height then to complete the top part of the siphon you need the siphon bell so siphon bell is a very simple item is a this is a 82 millimeter tube or three inch tube you can get away with smaller tubes depend on whether the uh, standpipe can fit in without any problem so you can see the standpipe and if it's not if it doesn't have any problem it's good so you can have a smaller diameter uh, pipe as long as it doesn't impede the water flow too much then you need a end cap for this uh, UPVC tubes to make water channeling into the siphon uh, I make a castellated uh, hose or half boot what I use is a circular file this is the circular file so what I do is just that I file the holes as many as you like. So
so then you can have a castellated part at the bottom so that water will be channeled without any problem it's, you can make as many holes as possible as long as you have those uh, uh, bridge so that it will hold this uh, uh, piece on top without any problem and this work well if you need to put this into a grow bit where the hydroton is loosely around this uh, standpipe then you have to use a, a strainer uh, so that the hydroton will not interfere with the operation of the standpipe so that's the top part of the grow bit then screw on the PT socket complete it with putting the siphon outlet that's it that's how it's made Learn. I've practiced aquaponics for more than 10 years around 13 years and initially it was very difficult because there's not many guidelines available on the internet so that's the reason why I start up my channel and teach everybody how to make a simple aquaponics system I do not want to make an over complicated items what I did is to refine improve the system to make it easier so that anybody can make can can uh, make an aquaponics set and have uh, readily vegetable and fish uh, at their disposal and this helped a lot of people especially during this period of time when we have a lockdown we cannot go anywhere you have fish you have vegetables at least you can have some kind of fresh produce for you to use and please aquaponic is something that can help everyone and I practice aquaponic for the last 10 years and I want to share my knowledge I want to share what I've done but I do not want to make a system which is overly complicated make something simple so that everybody can practice that's my goal thanks for watching signing out Afnan Aquaponic bye